This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shoup. You were watching the 4 p.m. stock market update last. Uh, show we had uh, Basil Chapman and Tim Ord on the Ord Oracle. Uh, make sure you go to our YouTube channel, Tiger Financial News Network. After the show, you can kind of see those clips afterwards. Our producer is hard at work getting those up. Make sure to give them a like and consider giving our channel a subscribe. If you haven't already, it helps us out immensely. We have the composite closing up about 0.78%. Dow Jones Industrial off about 0.36%. That dollar kind of sideways, but still very strong at 104.31. Crude oil off 0.24%. You have uh, the E-mini close up about 0.21 gold contract making all time highs today, as did Bitcoin uh, gold contracts trading at uh, 2,784. You have that copper contract sideways at 436 and then silver up about 1.84. And of course, you have that Russell closing off about 0.27 percent. How about that? We have Google coming out right now. You're trading up right now 1.82 percent. We'll see if people are a little bit hyped to see what those earnings are coming. I was looking at Boeing. Uh, you know, in battle, can't get anything right. They're in a weak position. The union knows that really cranking them down. They're up about 1.86% today, but it is being reported that a, a watchdog is uh, supposedly charging Boeing, obviously not legally, but saying that they charged the Air Force nearly 8,000% more for soap dispensers, which is actually pretty nuts. Um, it doesn't seem like any kind of legal action would come from that at all, but it can definitely uh, shut off some of that faucet for Boeing. Uh, the Department of Defense Office of Inspector General said on Tuesday the Air Force overpaid nearly $1 million for a dozen spare parts, including $149,000 for an undisclosed amount of uh, lavatory soap dispensers. Significant overpayments, this is what the inspector general says, significant overpayments for spare parts may reduce the number of uh, the number of spare parts that Boeing can purchase on the contract. That potentially reduces C-17 readiness worldwide. Uh, they also believe they spent uh, over 22 million spare parts against the fair price, which is absurd. They don't keep uh, inventory of what those prices would have been in the past. Folks, thank you so much for joining me today. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. with Tommy O'Brien in, in the morning. Market kickoff followed by Basil, Steve Rhodes, Larry Pesvento, and then myself at 3. Take care.